This edition of Weatherscope is sponsored by Campbell's. This is Weatherscope. Well, other than some light snow here and there, well, the weather is uh, pretty uh, quiet today across most of the nation. Good morning. Welcome to Weatherscope. I'm Mark Mancuso. And I'm Dan Atkinson. I'll be taking a look at the western half of the country. Surprise, surprise, another storm is setting up to move in off the Pacific. For now, though, the west coast should have a mostly rain-free afternoon. And surprise, surprise, uh, uh, my computer is not advancing into our satellite uh -oh. loop. So why don't we take a look at that video from the west and you can talk about that. Yes. We'll show you what's been happening, uh, particularly uh, during the past 24 hours in the Salt Lake City area. The snow came down in Salt Lake City last night. Looks can be deceiving, though. They only gained about an inch in the valley. More fell east of the city. Today and tonight will be partly cloudy with a chance of snow showers. Right now it's cloudy and 34 degrees in Salt Lake City. And in the northeast, the snow is falling. We do have... You can throw it to me and I'll okay. take it over. Here's Mark to tell you about what's happening in the east. Okay, you're not going to be able to see me because I'm going to have to move these satellites on through here. But I just want to show you that storm off the northeastern United States. And with that storm swirling its way off the New England region, we are seeing the moisture being thrown back into northern New England, and in particular, down east Maine. And here's a look at the satellite radar composite. And you can see the precipitation shield extending from about I-95 off to the east. And that precipitation is in the form of snow. Off to the west, we have a northwesterly flow. We are getting some lake effect off of Lakes Erie and Ontario. And you can see that snow northeast Ohio and extreme western New York. And there are some uh, lake snow advisories for a couple of inches of snow in through there. Let's uh, show you the, the map. And as we get you to the surface map, we are going to uh, investigate uh, the low pressure offshore. And there it is, just off the edge of the screen. Notice, though, in eastern New England, we see that snow, heaviest snows uh, from Bangor East, and that's where the winter storm warnings are in effect for today. Well, off to the west, you can see lots of flurries around the Great Lakes. In the southeastern United States, uh, the weather map is uh, pretty quiet. We see the yellow visibility is down to a half mile or so or less in the fog. And to the west in Texas, uh, the icy bars are tightly packed and that's a sign of some windy weather. Taking a look at temperatures in the southern United States, with those winds picking up in Texas and Oklahoma, we're in the 40s. Look at San Antonio, 50 degrees. Well, off to the east uh, with the lighter winds and the clear skies. Radiational cooling, uh, kind of frosty. Birmingham and Atlanta. While in North Florida, uh, definitely need a light jacket on the first coast of Jacksonville where it's 36 degrees. And lastly, in the northeastern United States, temperatures really not bad for this time of year with teens and 20s and a little colder air around the Great Lakes. Now Dan's going to talk about the weather in the West. Dan, just tell me what you need and I'll punch it into the machine. Okay, Mark, we will uh, take a look at the Western uh, satellite view and show you that uh, we do have across the Western portion of the country uh, some unsettled weather. It's not uh, really the leading edge of the next storm system, but the next storm is making its way toward the Western states. Uh, but some unsettled uh, weather, some instability producing some scattered showers here and there. We'll take a look at uh, the northwestern radar and show you some areas where there's light rain falling for the most part, places like uh, Astoria, Oregon, uh, on up toward Portland and Seattle. Uh, some light rain showers making their way in from the southwest and uh, not really, again, the leading edge of your next storm system, but that is in the wings. We get into more precipitation as we move on toward Montana, widespread light snow across the state of Montana. Places like Kalispell getting light snow, Bozeman, Billings, Glasgow, Miles City. Also in Wyoming, uh, you're getting some snow at Sheridan and Casper on over toward Lander and uh, West Yellowstone getting some snow. Uh, and you get into the northern Dakotas here and we have some light snow, but in some cases from time to time some light freezing rain or drizzle. If you're going to be traveling through the Rapid City, South Dakota area, bear in mind that you could have some icy patches on roads there due to some light freezing rain. It's also been some light freezing rain in uh, the northwest corner of, Colorado, uh, of Kansas at Goodland. Uh, and also some light snow from time to time at Craig, Colorado, Lyman, Colorado. Uh, you can see here this stationary front. This is the leading edge of some polar air, which is banked up against the eastern slopes of the Rockies. And this is the Pacific storm system that swept in uh, a day ago into the uh, west coast, and it's making its way on eastward, getting reorganized now as it comes across the Rockies. And as it tracks on across the Plain States, we'll be looking for potential for some heavy snow to pile up, particularly over northeastern Nebraska. 
uh, thanks not so much to uh, snow falling at a heavy rate, but simply steady snow over hour after hour. Uh, right now, Denver reporting 34 degrees, also 34 and cloudy at Salt Lake City. Los Angeles, you're 45, could have a few sprinkles this morning. San Diego, 53, San Francisco, 46 degrees. And let's take a look at the forecast now, and we'll show you that uh, as that storm pulls out of the Rockies and into the Plain States, we'll be looking for the snow to be spreading on across Iowa during today, midday. Look for the snow to be uh, probable for you around the Des Moines area. South of there, say right along southeastern Nebraska, northeastern Kansas, could have a mix of uh, rain, freezing rain there. And then in the warm sector of the storm, some rain showers for you over west central portions of Missouri. High pressure over the eastern portion of the country, keeping things generally dry for a time. Still a little bit of snow downwind of the lower Great Lakes, but that'll be tapering off as the high moves on eastward.